Hi everyone, welcome to Ansible Tower Learning Series 1 and 2 Continuous. This is the 8th video on Ansible Tower Learning Series. In this video, we will see how to write a basic CICD pipeline for network configuration automation. Here, we will see how to trigger a CICD pipeline during the configuration commit in specific playbook and how to trigger a specific job template in Ansible Tower for the changes. For example, here when we make configuration changes in 01 iOS facts, we will see how to trigger the associated template. Here we have multiple templates. Here we will trigger this particular template during the configuration commit in this playbook. And for that, I will be writing the templates here using editor. I will go to CACD and editor and in the previous videos we have seen how to register a GitLab runner how to in install the git the tower CLA command and how to trigger template using tower CLA commands then how to trigger the job templates using webhook in GitLab all these features we have seen and here we can see one template which executes during the webhook you can see this is having a hook and here in my webhook you can see the details this was able to trigger all the tasks but here in this case we don't need webhook otherwise whenever any comment happens to that particular branch it will trigger a hook so i'll delete that from the template list and i can delete this this as well and now we will try triggering this through cacd pipeline and I already have the runner registered and I'll add that video also in the description here the runner tag is tower2 local we'll try triggering that I will go to editor and here now in this demo we will have only one stage I will call that as tower template execution but in real time you can have multiple stages like uh, the testing stage where whenever user commits any configuration changes it goes through the testing stage and if it passes it will try to commit to the production and in production the authorized person can commit it once they commit it only it will move to the production devices you can do all these tasks now here we are going to have only one stage here we are going to have only one stage it is tower template execution i'll copy that stage and put it here and here the job is going to be for this particular file ios facts 01 ios facts so we can give some name related to that so it's going to be a tower job get facts and tags are going to be same tower to local and here I can write the conditions then on success of the branch and whenever there is any changes in this file I need to trigger this template 
here I'm covering a very simple use case if you're having any other use cases you can reach out to my email or we can put it in the description I'll add the condition only if it changes the file and I'll give the file name so so this if this file gets updated I'll put it in this way so on the success of the branch and then if file gets changed this has to trigger this particular tag and script is going to be our tower CLI script so tower CLI job launch and template equal to we'll see the job template name this is going to be the template template id is 15 Now we'll commit this change. So that change updated even in my local repo. So Now we can just try making some configuration changes here. Okay, so I'll make some config changes here. This script just gets the facts, so I'll just give one zero here. And one more zero here and anyway this is not going to make any configuration changes to device it is going to just get the facts of the device so i'll save this and i'll make commit i'll push to the device and We'll see whether any pipeline is getting triggered you can see here the status is running and tower job get facts and here the job id is 194 so 194 is executing here and before that there is the same update and you can see the revision number and we can verify the revision number here as well so it is updated here and this is able to get the facts we can verify the names here it is 0001 and 002 that means when I do any commit to this particular file pipeline is able to detect that and trigger the respective template now similar to that we will do an update to this template as well to trigger the this template 
go to CACD template copy this or this time what we can do we will go to this file and we'll try updating from here this here we will call this as interface config and this on success then the file name you need to change We'll take this file and stage is going to be same and tag is same and only template number will change. So we'll see the template ID. template id is 19 i'll add 19 here We'll wait for the pipeline here editor and here we can see the updated file and here we can visualize the template execution so now we have two jobs one is for get facts if the zero one the first file gets updated it will trigger this job if it is fifth file it will update this now let me update fifth file and before that i'll reset the device configuration you can see here now there is no IP and description on the interfaces now we'll try making changes to that need some changes I saving it commit to the branch We'll go to CACD pipeline. And here you can see this has triggered another pipeline and the job ID was 196. We'll go to job here. So 196 is getting executed. And revision number is C8989. So this is making configuration changes. So this is updating configuration in Cisco routers. This is a very simple pipeline where we have only one stage and two tasks 
similar way you can create advanced pipelines if you are having any additional use cases you can put it in the description or you can reach out to my email and here in the branches you can if you want you can add the approval process so that the authorized person can validate the output the test stage output then approve it and merge it with the production branch so that it will execute command in the production device so for that you need to have two sets of devices uh, one should be test devices and another is production and once the commit is successful in test branch you can merge it with production so here you can see all the commit history and other details who committed it and you can just take a copy of this and if you commit it here you can see the comment history so which branch it is what was the changes done if there are any approval required you can see the those details and who has done the change everything will be logged here in this way you can track so you can see the author details and similar to that if you have some task to be completed you can create some issues assigned to someone and you can have some flows workflows for that as well and once it is completed you can create a merge request then that merge request uh, will assign to a branch and that goes through approval process all these things can be done using this application i hope now you got a clear understanding on why we need cicd configuration pipeline for network automation in the next video we'll see how to use netbox for managing your inventory thanks for watching see you in the next video